Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of alkanes. You should then be able to describe the properties of alkanes including how the boiling points vary with chain length and branching. Ok, I'm showing you here the displayed and three dimensional formulas of the alkane ethane. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons with the general formula CN H2N plus 2 and the covalent bonds around each carbon atom form a tetrahedral structure with bond angles of around 109.5 degrees. Now the bonds in alkanes are a type of covalent bond called a sigma bond. Sigma bonds form when electron orbitals from adjacent atoms directly overlap. And a sigma bond contains a pair of electrons, one from each atom on either side of the bond. And the pair of electrons in the sigma bond lie directly between the bonding atoms. Now when we look at alkenes you will see that carbon atoms can form a different type of covalent bond called a pi bond. However in the case of alkanes only sigma bonds are formed. Now a key feature of sigma bonds is that they're fully rotational. So the carbon atoms can rotate relative to each other like this. The covalent bonds in alkanes are also relatively strong and take a lot of energy to break. So as we've seen alkanes are hydrocarbons. Now carbon and hydrogen atoms have a very similar electronegativity. So this means that alkanes are essentially non-polar molecules and this helps to explain the properties of alkanes. Firstly alkanes are insoluble in water. That's because water molecules form hydrogen bonds with each other. But because alkanes have no permanent dipoles they cannot form hydrogen bonds and therefore alkanes cannot dissolve in water. Unlike many organic molecules, alkanes are generally unreactive and that's because of the strong covalent bonds within alkane molecules. Under certain conditions alkanes will react and we'll be looking at that in later videos. Ok, now if we look at the boiling point of alkanes we can see an interesting pattern. As the length of the carbon chain increases, the boiling point increases. Short chain alkanes have low boiling points and are gases at room temperature. However longer chain alkanes have higher boiling points and as the carbon chain length increases we find liquid alkanes and solid alkanes at room temperature. Now we can explain this pattern by looking at the intermolecular forces in alkanes. As we've seen alkanes are non-polar molecules. So the intermolecular forces acting between alkane molecules are induced dipole-dipole interactions. These are also called London or dispersion forces. When we boil an alkane we have to break these intermolecular forces. However London forces are weak forces and do not take a lot of energy to break and that explains why shorter chain alkanes have low boiling points. Now as the length of the carbon chain increases the strength of the London forces also increases and there are two reasons for this. Firstly longer chain alkanes have more electrons than shorter chain alkanes. As we saw in an earlier video the strength of London forces increases as the number of electrons increases. Secondly, longer chain alkanes have a greater surface area than shorter chain alkanes. This means that there are many points along the molecules where they can form London forces. So the increased number of electrons and greater surface area means that the London forces are greater in long chain alkanes. And this means that longer chain alkanes have a higher boiling point than shorter chain alkanes. Now branch chain alkanes have a lower boiling point than straight chain alkanes. I'm showing you here the boiling point of hexane and the isomer 23 dimethylbutane. And as you can see the branched isomer has a lower boiling point than the straight chain isomer. That's because branches prevent alkane molecules from getting close together. And London forces are strongest over short distances. So in the case of branch chain alkanes the London forces are reduced. And this explains why branch chain alkanes have lower boiling points than straight chain alkanes. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe the structure and properties of alkanes. 